Hi, welcome to this week's all-in-one tip video for CAD users and CAD managers, sponsored by the HPZ1 Workstation and presented by Catalyst. My name is Kurt Marino, I'm a blogger and a CAD manager with the Kung Fu Drafter, and this week I'll be sharing some quick and easy tips for AutoCAD users, sketchbook designer users, and some interview tips we can all use. So let's get right to it. Our first tip is for AutoCAD users. In past videos, we've discussed the benefits of working with viewports. However, there is one drawback. Line work drawn in paper space cannot be accessed from model space, or can it? Try this quick and easy tip the next time you accidentally draw something in the wrong space. Here we see a bit of line work in paper space that will actually do us more good in model space. We could change to model space and redraw it, but with the ch space command, we don't have to. We just enter the command while in a layout and select our line work. Shazam! Now our line work has magically moved into model space from paper space to the exact same relative position and scale. This nifty little trick is going to save you plenty of time and effort, so be sure to be on the lookout for chances to use the ch space command. Oh, and by the way, it'll also bring model space line work into paper space. Our second tip is for sketchbook designer users. Every artist experiences creative block, and it can come at the worst possible times. Thankfully, Sketchbook Designer has a powerful tool that can help you explore all those untapped creative possibilities. With a bit of existing line work already on a paint or vector layer, we can open the Properties tab and activate the Symmetry tool. Instantly, we begin to see possibilities open up. By using the features of the Symmetry tool, we can create perfect mirror copies or radial arrays of duplicated line work. Experimenting with the number of array slices and the angle of the line of symmetry can open up fantastic possibilities. Once we have discovered a new creative avenue, the new symmetrical design can be finalized by closing the symmetry tool. The creative possibilities opened up by the symmetry tool are nearly endless. So the next time you hit a creative barrier, try adding some symmetry to your life. Even if you're not stumped, take the time to practice with the symmetry tool and explore your creative limits. Before we get to our last tip, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor. This week's all-in-one tip video is sponsored by the new HPZ-1, the world's first all-in-one 27-inch workstation. The HPZ-1's revolutionary design incorporates all system components within a 27-inch display that opens to let you swap parts and make upgrades without the need for tools. Visit hp.com backslash z1 for more information on the all-new z1. And now for our final tip. If there's one thing that nearly every CAD professional has in common, it's the interview. But interviews don't have to be sweat fest if you follow these four simple tips. First, there is research. Take the time to do some research. Check the company's website, look them up on Google, and poke around on LinkedIn. Get a feel for what they do so you're prepared for your meeting. Second, before the interview, get a good night's sleep and make sure that you're fully rested. Be sure that you have directions to the interview location and give yourself plenty of time for the drive to make sure that you aren't rushed. Third, be on time. And by on time, we mean five to ten minutes early. Promptness is next to godliness and tardiness is next to the guy at the unemployment line. Finally, once it's all over and done, thank the interviewer for their time. Even if interviewing people all day is their job, a little politeness goes a long way. Following these four easy tips is going to make sure that your Kung Fu shines through and make you the next best hire that company's ever had. Thanks for watching this week's tip video, and thanks again to our sponsor, the HPZ1 All-in-One Workstation.